Hey folks, welcome back to another Rob Reacts. Uh, this Rob Reacts is going to be, uh, it's, it's not comical. While I love the fat electrician and he, he makes all of us laugh and smile. Um, this is a reaction to another gun tuber. His name is Matt Carricker. Uh, his channel is called Demolition Ranch and a lot of times, if you've looked at anything, Brandon Herrera is, like, his AK-50 video, I think, was, oh, I know. It was tested at Demolition Ranch. Um, it is a ranch that Matt and his family, they bought it. And it was an abandoned resort. And, you know, his channel, you go through, and he's, all right, this is a burned-out building. Uh, these we're going to start working on getting ready to restore and rent out his Airbnbs, and he's done that. Uh, we're going to have a, a range day shooting. We're going to have a music gathering here. Uh, we're we're going to be on the Guadalupe River having fun, doing all this stuff. And, you know, he's a family-oriented guy. He is not a political guy. Politics doesn't come into his channel. He's just a guy that appreciates uh guns appreciates ballistics uh, appreciates you know and and i don't talk much about guns and stuff like that on my channel but i'm in south mississippi obviously i own weapons uh obviously i shoot but i've chosen not to put that on my channel because my previous channel got taken down because I think I got a little too political on there before. So I don't talk politics on my channel. I talk, uh, let me react to some of these other people. Let me, let me cook some stuff for y'all. Um, let me, let me show y'all some natural resource stuff from South Mississippi. Um, so, but when this attempted assassination of Donald Trump took place, um, the shooter happened to be wearing a shirt that, uh, was merchandise that gets sold to people that look at his YouTube channel and they go over there and they buy some of his merch. Um, you know, here's the deal. He is a YouTuber. You're looking for, you aren't going to make a whole bunch of money on YouTube. I mean, he is. He's got enough subscribers where he does great on YouTube. But how they supplement that is they sell merch. I mean, they'll design a T-shirt and they'll offer it for sale. And that's a way that they can make money. So uh, Matt's no different from that. He's got several YouTube channels. He's got one that deals with uh, veterinary medicine. Because guess what? He's a veterinarian. Um, he's a father. He's, he's a husband. He, he's an all around good family guy, but got lumped into, um, this, they're trying to pull him into politics because this weasel that I won't even say his name, this weasel happened to be wearing one of his shirts, um, when he, um, shot at the president. So former president. So here we go. I'm going to let Matt take it from here. And, uh, when I do that, I'll have some commentary at the end and I will, we'll, we'll just go from there. I'm sure there will be a lot of people watching this video who do not know me, who are, are new to this channel and are just checking in based on recent occurrences. So for those who are new, for those who do not know me, my name is Matt Carricker. I am a Texas-based YouTuber, and this is my YouTube channel. Um, Demolition Ranch is a firearm-centered channel. I also have um, Off the Ranch Matt Character channel, which is a, a vlog-type channel. And then I'm also a veterinarian, and so I have Vet Ranch, which is a veterinary-centered channel. And across the board, across all of my videos, we really don't talk about politics at all. We keep politics out of it. 
for one, it's not my bread and butter, but also I don't feel the need to impose my political views and beliefs on other people. And so we generally just stay away from the topic of politics. However, we were obviously kind of thrust into the conversation after last weekend. So before I go any further, to the family of the victim who died during the Trump shooting, uh, man, I'm so sorry for your loss. It's terrible and I, I hate that that happened to him and to you guys. And wishing, wishing you guys the best from here. It's, that's the worst. For those who were injured in the shooting as well, wishing you guys um, a speedy recovery, praying for pain-free recovery for you as well, both physically and mentally. I can't imagine. Does this man sound evil to you? Th this guy is, he's a stand-up dude. He, he just got, he sold a dang t-shirt. Imagine. So, as a lot of you guys know, um, and we were shocked and confused to, to find this out, the shooter who tried to assassinate Trump was wearing merch from my channel, wearing a, a Demolition Ranch t-shirt. And that sucked to see that. Yeah, that was, that was rough. So this this T-shirt, we also own a T-shirt company, um, and it's based out of this my hometown right here, and my friends work there, and we we make these shirts, we print them here in Texas, and ship them all over the world. I, I've seen my shirts in every continent. I got a picture like two weeks ago of a guy wearing my shirt in Antarctica, and so. We don't vet the people who buy our shirts, obviously. It'd be impossible right. to, just like Nike doesn't vet who buys their shoes. I wish I could. I would love to keep people like that from buying, wearing, being associated with that article of clothing. Like, I wish, I wish he couldn't get a shirt. But it happened. And I think the difference in, you know, a gunman wearing a, a pair of Nike shoes and a gunman wearing my T-shirt is... This brand is much more personal to me than Nike is to its executives. And so to see my name next to the shooter's name, oh, it sucks. And I wish, I wish we could keep that from happening. So no matter what side you're on politically, none of us want violence. Nope. This channel was never meant to incite violence or hate. It never has, it isn't, and it never will be a channel that does that. I don't want any violence or hate anywhere around me. I have a wife and little kids. I want them to be safe and secure forever. And the videos I put out, I want to make sure that is the same for everyone who watches my videos, that they aren't in any more danger because of my videos, of course. And I know you guys know that. I have 11 million subscribers who have been watching me for over 10 years and know that wow. I am uh, not that kind of person. This is mostly for the people who are just tuning in to see if I am a guy that is trying to make people do stuff like that. So I am not. Uh, obviously, I don't have to explain that to you guys who know me, but I, I feel like I might need to say that for those who don't. This channel is not about violence. This channel will never be, and uh, we never would condone that at all. I hate that. It's a weird a weird deal and yeah I have I have news articles calling me asking for interviews asking oh, yeah. what I know about the shooter asking if I've ever had any communication with the shooter if I've ever met him no he bought a shirt online and unfortunately wore it that day anyway wishing the best for everyone affected by this um, Obviously, the way I'm affected is nothing compared to the way some people are affected by this. So, I'm um, not trying to take anything away from them. But, yeah, just kind of letting you guys know. I wanted to tell you guys who know me that we're here. We're still, still going. And, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's not what we stand for. And it will never be what we stand for. And uh, we're going to keep keep trucking. When you're watching a, a CNN article and it 
it says three names. The Shooters, Trumps, and mine. That was not on my 2024 bingo card. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video. Let's move forward. And um, thank you guys for listening. Thanks for watching. And most of all, thanks for the support. I love you. And I'll see you next time. I'm sure there will be a lot of people watching this video. So, y'all tell me. Um, is it right? Well, I, I mean, the media is going to go after something. And this guy has a channel that, you know, firearms are being used, ballistics are being discussed. Um, heck, Brandon Herrera used his range to test the AK-50, which, if y'all haven't seen that video, I, I, I'm going to have several links for you in the description of this. Um, this young man is, you know, a great content provider. He stays out of the political fray, but he's getting sucked into it because of this event, because this one guy, and heck, he may have been trying to wear that shirt as camouflage to blend in with the crowd to get, you know, that's what he thinks the crowd was going to want to see. I don't know. But, and I don't want to get into politics. You know, my channel, uh, I stay away from politics. Uh, I don't, I don't, I stay away from religion. Um, because who am I? You know, I'm just some old fat guy that's sitting here talking to y'all. You know, I want to show y'all reaction videos, cooking videos, and some videos of some uh, natural resources here in South Mississippi. That, that's pretty much what I want to show you. Uh, sometimes I got a little comedic flair to it, but um, this is a serious video because I feel bad for him getting drug into that with CNN. Him getting drug into it, dragging his name in there with President Trump and that turd's name that that was dispatched on that roof that day that, that took shots at Trump and killed, killed a father trying to protect his family and injured others. Um, and because he was wearing a shirt that this guy mass markets and sells all over the place, they drug his good name into it. What was surprising to me, I didn't realize that Matt had uh, 11 million subscribers. That might be over the three different channels. I only subscribe to Demolition Ranch, but I am going to go subscribe to Vet Ranch and his other vlogging channel now just to show support for him because him getting drug into this mess um, just blindsided him. And this dude, is, is a good dude. Uh, in the links, in the description, you will find a link to Demolition Ranch. Um, Brandon Herrera, Eli Double Tap, and um, I've y'all have seen my links to the Fat Electrician, Angry Cops, all these guys, I watch these guys because I love their content. And they've got my kind of humor, you know. I was a paramedic for years, so gallows humor, and Matt doesn't even have that gallows humor as much as as the guys from Unsubscribe Podcast do. But, I mean, he's just a solid dude, and I hate that he's getting drugged through this. Um, I appreciate y'all staying this far into the video if you're still here. If you are, please go to Demolition Ranch if you aren't subscribed to him. And subscribe to him. Give him a like. Give him a little bit of support. And if you made it this far into my video and you haven't subscribed to me, please do so. And you can throw a like down there. And any positive comment is greatly appreciated. Y'all take care. I look forward to seeing y'all again. Sorry this video is coming out a little late this week. I normally try to post on Mondays. This is probably going to come out on Tuesday or Wednesday. Y'all take care. Have a great week. All the love to you.